My cats love to wake me up every morning. <laughs> and then there's Tucker, sleeping in his crate. Uh, here we go. As you can see at this exact moment, I'm so excited. Regardless, I know that it's time to get up, probably throw that robe on over there, and go feed Tia and Tamara their fancy feast breakfast. But before even they get fed, I need to tend to the bathroom. <laughs> there are two things that I need to get done in there. One is brushing my teeth and I will let you guys guess the other. <laughs> Tia and Tamara, that's Tia. She gets so excited to eat in the morning. She will crawl all over me. And then there is this talkative one. <laughs> oh. What are you doing? Oh, oh, oh. Come on. It's always been super important to me, being that I have two cats and a dog, that both the cats and my dog Tucker both feel like they have an equal amount of attention and love from me, and these girls are just so special. The girls actually eat, yep, are right there on the kitchen counter. Um, I don't want Tucker getting into their food, and they honestly always just love being high up. Um, never ran into a problem, obviously. I do sanitize the counter daily. Uh, yeah, this is so cute. They just love this time. So now that they have eaten, I can check that off the list. Next is for me to hydrate. I need to drink some water, you guys. I am always really thirsty when I wake up and this is just, oh. Next thing I do is I take my vitamins. This is really important, you guys. Vitamin D, vitamin B12, let's get it. Again, you guys, I love water. Maybe too much. As you can see, I'm about, oh. <laughs> Honestly, you guys, this is really just me all the time. I'm sorry, but I'm kind of not. Love you. One of my favorite, most exciting parts of the morning is getting this little cutie out. There's just something about the excitement that he has. Look at that tail. He is so ready to play. Hi, 
and you definitely know that I'm ready to play with him. I love Tucker so much. <laughs> Do you wanna play ball? Right now you're probably thinking, what? So this Nerf gun is one of the ways that I exercise Tucker in the morning. You can see we have a full arsenal of tennis balls there. Um, so this is round one of playtime, the second. You can kind of see in the bottom left corner is his ball launcher. <laughs> I actually just bought this ball launcher online and he absolutely loves it. He gets so excited to play with it. Look at him. And now, quite simply, it is time to feed Tucker. He gets so excited for mealtime. Oh my goodness. So I give Tucker both half wet food and then half dry food in the morning. So he, he likes a little bit of both and I mean, yeah, we just do that. <laughs> Typically before Tucker eats, he lets me know that he has to go outside. He is such a good boy. Since Tucker didn't want to eat before going to the bathroom, we did that first and now is the fun time. As you can see, I literally throw a tennis ball for him any chance that I can get because he just loves him so much. <laughs> Tucker doesn't like eating his kibble out of that bowl, so I just throw it on that mat and he loves it. So now that he has eaten, it is time for me to basically sit down with my laptop, do a little admin work, <sighs> you catch up on some emails, all that fun stuff. You know the drill. I work full time from home. It's what I do.
You're about to see the randomness of Tucker. It was at this moment that I realized that I totally have a problem biting my lips. Um, ignore me, guys. Sorry. <laughs> so at this point, Tucker's feeling thirsty. I'm feeling still super tired. As you can see, Tucker has a lot of energy in the morning. <laughs> Were you sick? Were you sick? <gasps> Thank you. You're the good boy. You're good. You're good, not a Come on, Tucker. Come on, buddy. Yeah. So if you follow my channel and all, you know that I have been on and off sick with a low grade fever for literally the past three weeks. So here I am taking my temperature and what? I was so excited. Normal. <laughs> the fever has really wiped me out having a low grade fever for literally almost three weeks. Um, my body is definitely not where it was, but I still wanted to take the time this morning to do some yoga um, just to stretch out my body and breathe, connect my mind a little bit. Now that that's done, of course, I am going to turn to my handy dandy water. <laughs> At this point, I'm ready for a nap, but first, I'm ready to read. So I'm yeah. taking my book into my bedroom. Tucker will come with me. We will lay down and read until eventually we both fall asleep, take a nap until it's time to get up again. The book that I'm reading is really good, you guys. It is The Queen's Fortune by Allison Pataki. I had to put Tucker's cone on him because he was licking his hot spot. Can't have that. And this is literally my favorite bookmark. It is so cute, you guys. And it just, it adds a little spark to reading. I love it. So 
so again with biting my lip guys oh my gosh i swear i'm gonna stop it's so bad i'm so sorry <laughs> time to go back to bed for a bit Once I'm officially up for the day, one of the first things that I do is make my bed. For some reason, it just feels really, really good when you make your bed. You know that you're starting your day with a task completed and there's just something um, that makes you feel really accomplished about that. Next is just time to basically throw on some different sweats. This is about to be magic. Oh, not magic, but there you go. <laughs> One of the first things that I do is light a candle. Love it. And now I'm ready to start my day with my water. <laughs> Let's see what today brings. Hope it's good for you guys. Love you all. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> see you guys next time. Bye.